to you. Yeah, yeah. Take care. I, I have a question. Though. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Because before, before the he died on the cross, did he ever say that he was yeah, there's not the final heaven and hell, but the, uh, the book of Hebrews, have you read the Bible much? A little bit. Yeah, if you, if you dive into the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 11 especially talks about it, uh, but, but we're, uh, everyone, all the saints of all time, we're all saved the same way, through faith in Jesus Christ. Right. But, uh, and the thing that... I'm, uh, give me just a second. So in in the Old Testament, people, the saints were looking forward to the Messiah who would come. Because Jesus said, Moses spoke of me. And, and it, it says that, uh, that uh, uh, Abraham knew me. You know, so there's there's places in the Old Testament where they talked about Jesus. And they're, so they're looking forward to a Messiah to save them from their sins. And then now we're looking back. 2,000 some years later to what Jesus did back then. So we're looking back, they were looking forward. Does that make sense? Right, but yeah. I'm confused because my, my okay. lifelong best friend is a Christian and she actually recently explained to me that the reason he died on the cross is so that it can forgive all our sins like uh -huh. we heard, yeah, yeah, and so that's we good. all go to heaven no matter what. That's yeah, the yeah. point. So yeah, yeah. What Changed. Yeah, so the, the God changed the heart, so like I was explaining earlier no, to Aiden. No, but why did he, what was the point of him dying on the cross if people were already going to heaven as well? What, no, no, or, okay, yeah. If she was saying that everyone was going to heaven anyway, that's a great, that's a valid point. Why did Jesus, it was useless for him to die if everybody was going to heaven. Because his, his reason he came here was to suffer and die for the sins of many. And then so, why did that, do, what changed? So, so the Bible says that, that if any man is in, and again, men, any man, that's everybody. If anyone uh, is a new creation, the old is gone and the new has come. And so you're made a new creation. You have different desires. You don't, you hate your sin. You go, oh, I hate that. Oh, stuff that you used to love. That's things that I used to love, I hate now. And the things that I hated then, I love now. So, like, and specifically people. I had some people that I just like, oh, I'm going to punch them out. And I go, oh, man, I love that guy. Even though he was he was rotten to me. But now it gives you a love for people. And I know there's a bunch of hatred being spewed at me. But but I don't care because uh, it just I just let it run off, like as they say, water off the duck's back. Because I know where they're at. I was there, too. I hated Christians. I hated God. And so I, I can understand. I can identify. And so um, that, that what you're talking about is the new birth being changed. That's a good question. So you have to be changed. And God has to do that. But you can cry out to him. When you, you hear this message of salvation through Jesus dying on the cross after he suffered. For, you know, imagine hanging on a cross, suffering and dying, and then being buried and rose again on the third day. When you contemplate that, he did that for me. When that rings true, you go, oh, he did that for me. It breaks you. Well, all my sins were put on Jesus on the cross. Does that make sense? I'm trying to understand. No, let me finish with her. I'm trying to understand. Before he died on the cross, trying to understand what yeah. the difference is. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That actually, there was a whole system, especially in the in the Jewish uh, uh, religion uh, of the question? Israelites. Why yeah, just, Jews just, just a minute. I, she's, you had a good question. Let me. Let, I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. I just want to. This is a super good because question. I'm mean, really thinking about it. But but they had a whole system of sacrifices where they would sacrifice them, and there was like blood running everywhere from the sacrifice. So they'd take animals and sacrifice them, kill them bleed them out and then offer the offer the bodies Jesus as sacrifice so the, the lamb and Jesus was the uh, uh, the, the lamb of God so that picture Jesus uh, is not the uh, John the Baptist said behold the, the lamb of God takes away the sins of the world maybe it was John the apostle but anyway Jesus is the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world so he's that that one to suffer to give his life because it needed to be a sinless sacrifice a perfect sacrifice and I hope I'm not making it too long but but there was a system for sacrifice in the Old Testament. However, that there's no temple now, and they're not doing uh, those animal sacrifices any longer, so they're really not true Jews, right? They're really not. But there are Messianic Jews that, that were raised Jewish, and, they, and they, they believe in the Messiah coming, but not Jesus. And then they were converted. God converted them. So now they're Messianic Jews. They are, uh, they are believing Jesus as Messiah. Is that kind of, that explain it? Kind of. 
Yeah, so there was always, a, you know, sin has always been bad. Everything in the garden from the first rebellion is they know we're going to have it. We're going to do Burger King. We're going to do it our way, God, Adam and Eve said. And so he said, okay, out with you. You're going to die. You're going to die physically and spiritually. What was wrong? I don't understand. What was wrong with them making their own choices? Well, they, they sinned against God because they rebelled against God. And, and I was just thinking of this. Uh, verse in, uh, I think it's in Leviticus, but I don't remember the address, but it says, rebellion is as, the, of, is as of the sin of witchcraft, right? So rebellion is, rebellion, well, like, you know, like if, if your parents say, you got to be back at 10 o'clock, and you say, no, I'm not coming back till 12. Whether you lie to them and say, okay, I'll be back at 10, and then you show up at 12 like you wanted to anyway. That's rebellion. See, if that makes sense? So rebellion against God is really serious. I mean, you're supposed to obey your parents. That gets a sin when you, you sin against God when you when you disobey your parents. But disobeying God is ultimately the most. Sometimes parents can be really horrible people. Yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can say, hey, hey, Susie, go in and go and steal that. Uh, we need a new remote for the TV. Go in and steal that remote. And while we're over here shopping for a washer, go into the department store. Go, good job, good job. They could, they could do that, but you could say, no, I'm not going to sin against God. I'm going to I'm going to disobey my parents, and that's okay to do. That's good to do. Don't let don't let them let them lead you into sin, like they're doing now. That they're they're chopping up kids and turning them into trans and stuff like that. I mean, horrible um, stuff. So you believe, right? That I mean, men and women are inherently different. Right? Yeah, yeah, you got yes, it. Of course, true. We are very different. Yeah. The reason for that is because we have very They're different, what? Very differently built brains, physically and mentally. Yeah, yeah brains, Women yeah, we think have differently. different amounts of chemicals. Yeah, yeah. The brain is a different size. Right. Yeah, yeah. And it's very possible that somebody could be born with the body of a man with a woman's brain. And that makes sense. And that apparently they are different. And you believe that. So, yeah. prove that with science because it's all it's all up to what the person is telling you they're saying I have a female brain but I have a male body we have no way of testing that really you know okay, but if they're no born way. with like both both sets of genitals I mean that's an abnormality but it's that's very very saying. yeah it's very very um, they're very few, few of them it's because otherwise when we rebelled against God he gave us the curse he cursed everything creation is cursed and it's going to be renewed eventually at what time i don't know but that's why we have wars we have uh we have cancer Wait, we have earthquakes and we have us? even mosquitoes are those are cursed yes oh absolutely so he causes this. that's the curse of creation because he cursed us because we disobeyed him yeah to have wars yeah to have that's it deaths to have horrible things yeah so yeah he did that he, he cursed, yeah, because we rebelled so against him. You, why do you follow somebody who treats you like that? Well, he actually treated me very kindly because he redeemed me from my sins. I was headed to hell forever, eternally, and he saved me from that. I mean, how how much more grateful can you be to, to God that did that? And am I going to accuse God of things that maybe I don't understand? Well, why? You know, I mean, why did you kill everyone in the Noahic flood except for eight people? That seems kind of harsh, but it says right in there, everything was wicked. There was wickedness all over, but it says Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So there was a remnant, eight people that he saved. So we tend to look at the, at the, at the well, why those specific one person's people's opinions? What's that? But why should one person's opinion be like we should kill everybody? Isn't that like, it does not make sense. Are you talking that? about God's opinion? Well, anyway, so... Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I didn't want to try and yell over the preaching, but so so you consider yourself to be like a good and moral person then? Yeah. Um, and so, have you ever lied before? I have, yeah. So you're a liar then. Have you stolen anything? No. Never. Now remember, you admitted to being a liar. Not Like in all your life, have you ever downloaded music or, or anything, intellectual property that you didn't pay for? No. Ever steal like a candy when you're a kid? Nothing that, okay. I'll give you that one. Have you ever used God's name in vain? 
Yeah, it's like, oh my G-O-D. Well, bump your knee and go, oh, J-C, you Jesus Christ name. You done that before? Yeah, okay. So that's called blasphemy. You would be a blasphemer. Have you ever looked with lust at anybody? Yeah, I have. Okay, so you'd be an adulterer at heart, according to that. And then uh, one more to go. Have you ever hated anybody, do you think? No, I never. don't hate my heart for people. What's that? I don't hate my heart for people. So in your entire life, you've never hurt, hated anybody? Okay, okay. That's, that's fair enough. So correct me if I if I remember I wrong. Holding signs say that people deserve death and hell. That's hate. Yeah, it, we all deserve death and hell, eternal death as well as physical death. But uh, so yeah, but by your own admission, that Christians deserve that up there. That's only certain things, certain people. I think that that is. Hate. Well, it's a standard. It's a standard. So like, uh, here's an example. That maybe this is a little out, out left out in left field, but. Uh, what do you think of pedophilia? You think that's wrong, or is yeah, it? Yeah, I do. You do. Why? I mean, uh, to be fair, I think they should be executed, given a fair trial, but executed just like any other uh, criminal. Uh, but what? But why do you think there it's bad? Because it's disgusting. But that is but disgusting, incredibly but, different than some of the I things mean, up there. Right? But according to what standard is it disgusting or wrong? The law. By you? By the law. The law. The law has changed in the land. Like it was. It was. Uh, you would be immoral. Like, do you? Um, are you against slavery? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you would be considered immoral in the early 1800s. You yeah, know that. Live in the early 1800s. Right. I'm just. I'm now. just seeing an example how law changes. Now, fast forward to to uh, the the early uh, uh, like late 1920s. Uh, uh, would you stand up for the Jews being murdered in the Holocaust? Yeah, I would. So you would be immoral. You'd probably be. You'd probably be murdered. Yeah, but I'm just saying laws change. Like, you know, there are people in, in jail, they're still in prison for for, uh, for using and selling marijuana. Now it's legal. They're still in jail. I think that's wrong too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're, you're uh, and I think you're onto something there, that it's wrong to change a standard. The standard should be a standard. Like you don't take a ruler that's 12 inches and go, okay, now it's going to be 13 and a half, or now it's going to be 8. We're going with the law thing. What's that? I think the way we're going with the law thing is you're bringing up things that would have maybe gotten me killed in the 1800s and have changed so that it is better now. I think yeah. there's no reason that we should be going back and sticking with a document that was written yeah. thousands of years ago. They're saying certain groups of people deserve hell. Yeah. I think that we should as a society be growing and changing and be accepting of Yeah. Them. So do you think society is the... Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, the Bible actually says that there's a there's pleasure for a season, but the end is death. Death. So we don't want you to die. I don't want you to die and, and go to hell. I want you to live a long, healthy, happy life. But, but, the, but, the, but, the, but, but the fact is that we're all going to die. I don't know when. I, I, I hope you have a. I hope you have a long, happy life. But the, the truth is, that you walk through a cemetery, you see 13 years old, 2 years old, 79, 32, 56. You see all different ages. They're dead, right? Dead. And I don't want that. I will hunt you. Well, I, that's a loaded question. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate you. I don't hate anybody. I want you to be saved from hell. How, how much more loving can that be to want you to, to, to go to heaven, not hell? If I hated you, I'd, I'd stay away or I'd come and tell you please that I want us. you to go to hell, encourage please, you please in your sin. That's the only, that's not the only reason. Have you lied before? Yes. Okay. So you're a liar. The Bible says that. I, I've broken almost all of the Ten Commandments. I, you know, I'm not. I'm, yeah, almost all. I've never had an abortion because I'm a man, <laughs> and I've never, I've never consented to an abortion by a girlfriend or whatever. So, so I'm not guilty of that. But I've broken all of those. But I'm going to heaven not because of what I've done. I've sinned against God grievously, probably more in my life. So what about the small children across the world that were never introduced to Christianity? Does that mean they're also going to hell? Well, it depends on. Depends on how old they are, you know, how much they've sinned against God, you know, because you build up sin. Yeah, but everybody knows there's a God. You, you all know God. You all believe in the God of the Bible. But you, su you suppress the truth. You suppress the truth and unrighteously, like holding a beach ball down in a pool. You hold it down. Can you hold it down forever? No, it's eventually going to pop up because you're, you're suppressing it. Well, yeah, you're, you love your sin, right? Be honest, you love your sin. Well, you don't think it's sin, but you love your sin. Can you explain yeah. to me why it's a sin? 
Because God says it is. But what's so why is everything else? Yeah. On yeah, are you talking about you can explain why it's wrong. Are you talking about the, the physicality or the spirituality? I am talking because about right and wrong. And yeah. every other thing yeah. basically on these ten commandments, you can't yeah. be wrong because yeah. For one reason, it, it spreads diseases. You're talking for a scientific purpose. Science, science says that it, that it will eventually kill you, but science can't tell you that that's wrong. It just reports. It says, yeah, if men that have gay sex are likely to get colon cancer. Is that wrong? Science doesn't tell you that. Science doesn't tell you that it's wrong. No, you could have AIDS. sex with your with your married partner for thousands and thousands of times and not uh, not have uh, get diseases, and that's the way God designed it. But I'm talking about uh, specifically the physical things, like you're asking about the scientific things, because science doesn't tell us what's wrong, right or wrong. It just it just says, okay, uh, leopards eat gazelles. That leopard just killed that gazelle and eat it. Is that right or wrong? Yes, that's it's right. It's right. It's right. It's not right or wrong. It's just is. There's no more. Leopards, leopards and gazelles don't have morals. They're they're animals. Yeah, we, and gazelles we, are also gay. What's that? They also can be gay. Well, there can be aberrant things. How you doing? There can be aberrant things in in um, uh, in nature, but we don't want to go by it like the, the minor things. Like like here's an example. Take like abortion. If you, if you want to take abortion, like like um, the main re you know what the main reason for committing an abortion is? To guess. Just take a wild guess. Oh, you're getting close. Fornication. According to Planned Parenthood, 65% of abortions are committed because of fornication. That's sex between an unmarried couple. And then... The, the, so you, you hate me, you don't want me to exist. Is that, is that right? And, and that's natural for for somebody who's preaching the gospel to be hated. And and I, I, don't hate you. I yeah, well, and that's that's good. Uh, but most people will hear. But that's one of the promises of God. Jesus said, "You will be hated for my name's sake." When you preach Jesus, you, you you're most likely will be hated. What do, you, what do you mean? Oh, I think it's horrible. Yeah, and, and those should people should like any murderer should get the death penalty. Whether it doesn't matter if they're gay, bi, bi hetero. Well, and again, maybe you missed it. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe you missed it. But I'm not saying it to anyone that you are gonna go to hell ultimately. Because I don't know. You could repent this afternoon. But you're saying that I deserve it. Well, we all deserve it. We earn death okay, and so hell. What makes you better than so, me? so, all, all other sins, all these, all their sins earn death and hell. So we get paid wages. The wages of sin is death. So I deserve it, but God was merciful. You know what grace is? Grace is getting something you don't deserve. You know what mercy so why is? Why do you deserve grace well, and I don't? Well, I don't know. And maybe maybe God will give you grace. I don't know the future. Like I said, I'm not saying that you personally will go to hell. Uh, that's what it says it, up there. But no, that you're reading it wrong. You earn death and hell. Where does it say that you're going to go to hell because right now? Say you it say death earn death and hell. I'm bi and I'm going to earn death and hell. Yeah, and all the other sins too. You earn death and hell. And so, but I'm not, it's not saying that you're going to, that you're going to go to hell, like, in a week, or, you well, could, eventually you, will, though. you could repent, yeah, if you never repent, you're right, you would go to hell. <laughs> now, I'm glad that you, you're not in kindergarten like these folks. <laughs> no, I teach kindergarteners, they're pretty, they're doing well. Yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, you try and be reasonable, I appreciate you, you know, being calm about it and not, being cantankerous, uh, even though you don't agree, but uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, that's the idea. Is, and, and I hope I can get that across to you. They're not saying ultimately there's nothing you can do. You're going to go to hell. I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, saying if you don't, gay, I it, which not just gay, but 
but like you, I think you admitted to some lies like lying and blasphemy and and uh, and lust, looking at lust. So um, just three of those, even one of those. What's the point of heaven? I can't do anything fun. Well, you have to hate your sin. Like going back to what I said, you have to repent. Godly sorrow leads to uh, so re leads to repent. Christian by believing in God, right? What's that, that now? That's the rule, right? You well, everybody believes in God. It's more specific. Trust in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. And it's not just, yeah, I believe it was a historical fear. It's, it's like trusting him. It's like putting on a parachute. But what happens? Would you jump out of a plane without a parachute? No. Right. Why? Because you fucking die. You die. Yeah, you die. I wouldn't use the F-bomb word, but, but you die. So you put that parachute on so you can live, right? But what if? Because there are people who do trust in Jesus. Yeah. I think Jesus yeah, said yeah. love thy neighbor. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing today. So we're loving people. I don't think there's love there, pal. Because that contradicts, well, because if you really go to heaven, is to trust and believe in Jesus, but you can also be LGBTQ, yeah. that's and still incorrect. be fine, yeah. that's and false. Then, so says who? Says who? Okay. That's false. Then, you need to repent. 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 Not of doing just LGBTQ, but repent of your sin. That's what we're doing. Yeah. 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 That's what you got to do. You know that translation in the Bible that says the homophobia. Oh, do you believe uh, the Bible? Oh yeah. You do. The translation that says that homo, uh, homosexuality is a sin. That was a mistranslation. How do you know that? Well, you know, I mean, historically. What's your source of truth? I don't know. It documents. Well, you don't know what your source of truth, of truth is. My source of truth is God and the Bible. Okay, so. the Bible. So if you don't you believe know, the Bible, then. Like I said, I, I don't do Bible studies with unbelievers. I'm not going to debate the Bible. I'm just going to proclaim it. As a it. Christian, this is the best way to represent God. Come in here and antagonize It's just one of the people. ways, and that's a loaded question. I'm not antagonizing. I actually just stood here and started preaching, and you people came up. And praise God, here. you've been standing here for a long time. I hope you're not, like, you're kind of fair-skinned like me. I hope you don't get burnt. I, I didn't put on my sun, my uh, sunscreen, but... Uh, oh, it's hot today. But anyway, yeah, so I, I love you all, even though I don't know you, and I care about you. I don't want you to go to hell. That makes sense? Even though you may not believe it.